Here we are. I made myself a SOG seal pup. And uh, I had actually drawn this up and started making it before uh, the warthog sent me that one as a gift. Which is, I mean, still, it's just an awesome gift. So, I did notice there is a few things I did differently, like the the swoops on the back are deeper than the actual seal pup. It's more straight. And then on the seal pup, the handle flares out towards the end. It gets bigger, where mine is more straight, or if anything, it gets smaller. So, a couple differences there. And then this is a Ivory G10 with black liners. And it's 3 16 inch thick uh, Nitro V. I also made this to where you can actually get a finger in there and get up here and do some finer work and whatnot. And then another thing is different is the finger grooves. So the, the seal pup, the actual one, when you hold it, or at least when I hold it, it's like trying to spread my fingers apart. Right? And it, if you, I just grip it with my fingers together, what happens is my uh, pinky finger ends up right here on top of the little knob on the other one. And they're, it's really just the finger grooves themselves are too big. You know, too wide and mine here this front finger groove is bigger and this back finger groove is bigger but these two small middle ones are smaller and it brings all of your fingers closer together so it lines up with your hand real good with your fingers closed right and then when you grip it you know your hand squishes out some and that extra room in the front and the back helps out with that squish out to the side so that's the you know the differences in it but oh and I didn't do a swedge grind on this either I just left it with that one I don't think it looks bad at all without it but anyway yeah so I'll show you guys I got it done so and this nitro V steel gets crazy sharp it's ridiculous this thing is just like swipe shave sharp right now but let me show you the, the sheath I did a red a dark uh, I believe it's called blood red it's the name of the kydex sheath I did screw up right here I didn't get those really even this one's out farther but yeah it locks in there pretty solid because of the this part right here the little finger notch thing it hooks in there pretty damn good so I still need to wrap this with the paracord drop it sunk this sucker in there but yeah so you'll probably end up seeing this knife some more I might do some testing with it whatnot maybe some fatwood Friday fires or something but yeah just thought I'd show you guys alrighty Y'all have a good one.